Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bits and Bobs and Surprises. Can I show you something? And I want to start off with my Phalaenopsis Wilsonii. Do you remember my mounts video? If you haven't, I'll put up a card. In my mounts I introduced this little Phalaenopsis Wilsonii and mentioned that I think there was a spike growing. And lo and behold, there is a spike. Very, very exciting that this is actually developing nicely because we've now reached some really warm temperatures. It's about 25 degrees Celsius outside and I only have 40% humidity. So this little Wilsonii remains indoors in its allocated spot and I do not move it. I'm sorry about Siliano. He's having one of his moments. However, there is more to this. And look. I hope I can zoom in and do it justice, but there is a leaf growing in the crown. This is, for me, as much as I love the spike, that leaf for me is the holy grail. I am so relieved because I thought I had broken the crown based on heavy wind one day while it was outside and it ripped two leaves off. But now we have a growing leaf and that makes me so happy. Just gotta keep it going and keep it where it is. So just moving right along, I wanted to just give you a quick update on the new growth of the Chantilly Lace that I was moaning about in several videos and the second attempt is still looking good. It's still nice and green on the bottom there. Whereas we saw in other videos that the first attempt has failed completely. But I'm very encouraged that I have the second attempt here still green at the base. So thank you for the suggestions when I showed this the last time regarding how much calcium am I giving it. I really appreciate that. I have upped the calcium in this um, case, just this case for the last week so far. So basically because the reservoir is not being absorbed, I don't pour in every day. So it has calcium since a week and it looks like this second growth is on the move and it's going to make it. That's makes me very happy and I'm very surprised but pleased. Then I wanted to show you a quick update on the Dawiana new growth. I'm filming this in the shade because they were treated uh, this morning against scale. I saw some more scale on my Rex and they're all kind of close together on the shelf so I've been going through and that's why we're in the shade today. But you can see that the Dawiana growth is doing really well. Just one growth this year. Normally I should get another growth coming out here. It's a big one though. It's bigger than the, the way it grew last year. I'm positive and hopeful about that. Maybe one big growth is better than two puny ones. So Dawiana is doing wonderful. But then remember from my Juvenal's video, I showed you my cat Leo Rex and it was still sleeping. Well, 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 what do you know? Sleepyhead has woken up. Where are you? There is a growth, I promise, because I treated it this morning and I saw it. There it is. There's one. That is a great, great sign for me because as we move around slowly around the back, there is a, another one right there. So that's two. And um, <clears throat> I'm kind of glad I was doing my walk around this morning with a little bit of a the magnifying glass because this one had scale on it. And it hasn't gotten to the new growth yet, but it was mighty, mighty close because I cut a leaf off right here close to this new growth. And I was like, no, that's not happening. 
So we are in the shade for that reason. You can see that there's some damage from the scale down here, the yellowing there. And then you can see that this leaf tip here also, you can, on the underside it was munched. So yes, I think we got there on time. I don't think we've missed the boat here. But Catlea Rex has woken up. Look at this. Look at this. My wild cat, golden red star. Look at this spike. It's the first time I have a spike that has branches at all. Normally I only got like nine blooms and it already bloomed for me uh, ooh, three times now since I have it. And it's growing really well. And I only ever had one spike, although nice, with nine blooms. This time we've got branches. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh yes, happy, happy, happy. Coming soon. Another one, spiking. Two spikes this year. Oh, this is wonderful. This is Selemia Midas. And it looks like a Tulumnia on steroids, but it is its own genus, growing really well, just in lava rock in a basket. And we have two spikes coming. Beautiful, beautiful, golden, golden Tulumnia shaped um, blooms. So these will also be allocated to one of my subscribers. This little commercial nobili hybrid. Oh, it smells so good. So I've pulled another one of my little surprise plants out just to give you a quick look at uh, my Leopoldii, the first ones that I have. Well, it's two pieces in one pot. Remember I said to you that it's doing nothing and that's why I bought a possible replacement plant? Well, we've got root growth happening on one of the pieces and it's the smaller pieces of the two. So that is great news. It hasn't keeled over yet. So I'm very happy about that. The second piece, still nothing, but one. One out of three ain't bad. And next door, I just pulled it off its shelf. I did a repotting video on my Zydenfadenia mitrata. And to be very, very honest with you, I don't think it's doing well in this method just yet, but let me update you on that when I'm more certain. However, maybe this is its swan song because it's sending out four spikes. Um, I'm not sure whether to be thrilled or like, oh my goodness, it's going downhill and it's going to bloom its head off and then die. But um, I'm flushing it regularly just with plain RO water every second, every third day. But there is an odor coming out of this pot and that is why I am not confident of what is going inside the pot with those big long dangly roots as you saw. And if you didn't, I'll put up a card of the video of repotting this one. It was a risk, but I had to do something. Here we have, if you remember, I pointed out two new growths in the repotting. Well, it turns out they are spikes. And two, here's another one. So that was one of the first ones I thought were just new growth. Here's the second one I thought was just new growth. But now I have three and four. I'm sorry about the banging in the background. Spain is getting back to work. Annoying for filming, but it is a beautiful sound, people. And I'm not going to just cut everything out. Uh, I don't have the conditions that is like a studio setup. So I do apologize. This is the life that I live here in Spain with lots of background noise. And I remember the silence was the worst for me when the reasoning behind it was so ominous. So apologies for the background noise, but it is in some cases a beautiful sound. Back to Seidenfadenia. <laughs> it could be a swan song, but there will possibly be blooms. And we will just have to wait and see. Oh, and just to finish up, I want to show you a possible bloom. Don't count your blooms before they've popped. Um, this is Rasabola tuberculata. And I'm not going to gawk at them too long. 
but it's trying to bloom and I hope that it does because these blooms have been allocated to one of my subscribers. So I'm growing this two ways. One is mounted and this is the cut that I put into semi-hydro. This one's doing all right. The mounted one is doing all right, but doesn't want to bloom just yet. So we'll see which of the two methods proves themselves more viable. And if I have to, I will move the other cut that is mounted into this pot at some stage in the future. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Blooms to come. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.